Dumpsters filled to the brim. A challenge for crews to keep up with and an eyesore for anyone who walks by. Some of the neighborhoods you just don't want to go into. I mean, you're leery of uh, your safety there and because they just don't look good. We showed you this problem property back in April. Trash overflowing on the sidewalk and into the street. After first alert four place calls, it was cleaned up. But the residents we talk with say the city's trash problem is only getting worse. If there's not a spot to put something, it's going to end up in the wrong spot. A new pilot program at St. Louis University now aims to track some neighborhoods recycling and waste to see what's going in, what shouldn't, where it ends up, and that really excites resident Dana Heller. There's obviously such a sense of apathy around waste management and like where think where do things actually end up? Like are we actually making a difference? I want to show you the problem we're talking about. This is a random dumpster in a city alley. You can see plenty of garbage here, but there's also cardboard and plastics, things that could be recycled. So these sensors would be able to track what kind of materials are actually being dumped into the bin. It can tell you location and when, tracks the chemical composition of those materials, and also searches the bin for bacterial activity, talking about food waste and trying to cut that down as well. This is a look through the lenses of these new sensors. They will be installed around 66 square miles of St. Louis and only cost $5 each. For St. Charles County resident Nan Hale, she hopes these sensors take off across the metro. We are probably ought to do it everywhere, not just in the poor areas that aren't being maintained. Because I think a lot of people in the maintained areas don't always know what they should recycle. 